You're watching LED with the brand new Philips Hue lighting system here that is available at Apple stores now worldwide and actually they are even sold out because um, they were so um, successful after the first week so they sold multiple thousand of these ambient lights, personal actually wireless lightning um, as it's called on the box which is quite nice. Already on the box you can see here you can change different colors up to 16 million RGB colors here with this light. When you haven't bought this $200 um, box you can uh, check out the demo video here with the QR code otherwise it's not only available with the iOS devices also with Android the final version of the program will be probably available in um, December right now it's only a beta but you can already control um, these lights with both um, the um, operating system. As you can see on the side each um, bulb has 600 lumens of brightness that's about 48 watts and you also have a low uh, power consumption when they are off of um, 0.3 watts when they are on it's 8.5 watts actually and as you can see here it's graded A in energy but of course it's only in the EU so also here you have outside on the box telling you uh, what's will, what will be inside the box but you can of course open it up and then you will see in just a minute what we what you will get and you can see here on the, uh, on the outside again uh, what kind of options you will get when you buy this device but in, a, in one or two minutes you can also see by us what we can do with this and now when you will first open up the box you can see here we have another QR code which tells you in a video how to set up the device but also here again you can um, roll through here to see really an installation manual otherwise you have of course your three light bulbs here and your bridge the bridge is important since this is a wireless um, system you set up the bridge and you can connect you can connect up to 50 uh, bulbs to this system which is of course quite nice here uh, the the bridge is quite small. You have a LAN adapter to connect it to the to your internet a connection, also to your router, so you can access the bulbs externally, but you don't have to actually plug it in. Then we have power on the bottom. You can put it on the wall. As you can see here, you have a reset button, and you have of course this um, button here for connecting with your smart device, like an iPad, smartphone, other devices. And we have a short manual also here if you don't want to watch a video, and also a short warranty instruction. Then of course we need power for the device which is right here, it's um, really small like um, for your um, regular smartphone to charge. And then of course also a standard CAT5 uh, network cable to connect it to your internet, you don't need to have the cable with you. So now since we um, unbox the device, let's see how it works when we um, use it. Um, let's see how it works when we use it in a scenario like home. Oh, we have uh, five balls uh, installed in the back and we have an iPad where we can show you some of the features. And you can see we have already different colors in different spots. Here for this uh, Philips Hue light. Pardon? And E11. I can tell you a few things, for example, when you have um, you don't have your iOS device or your Android device to control it um, in the 100 meters or actually there's a 100 meters that the devices work with that so if you have your bridge um, it will use a Zigbee protocol which is also an open um, protocol so you can program something for yourself for these devices like you will want it to play to music, different kinds of beats, different kinds of light um, you, that's possible in the future and also you can really use them in a range of 100 meters since they are also connecting to each other the light bulbs it doesn't need to be uh, that close to the bridge itself and then we will show you in a second actually the iOS device how you can um, use it with an iPad which for example you have different pictures that you're looking at and then you get the different mute colors yeah, up to 120 scenes um, can be saved actually to use um, them with here the Philips Hue um, and they're as I said they are available for 199 for the starting package which you were which you were able to see and 59 US dollars for another extra bar. You can connect up to 50 and right now in the back there's actually photo shooting of the iOS device but we will show in just a, um, a second. There's interesting features for example you can um, set um, timers for when you go to bed or when you wake up that it wakes up with the same scene that you had before or just five or six different scenes um, but you cannot actually set a date for example on Mondays or Tuesdays that uh, different things will happen but it will be of course possible in the future. And <laughs> Now, as you can see here, we have uh, the <laughs> iOS app, which um, looks quite easy. It's called just Hue and uh, Philips. And you can see we have now a few scenes. For example, Relax, it's a standard scene by uh, Philips that 
um, has a diff um, certain kind of light concentration is a little bit um, brighter as you can see in the back it's really quite um, yeah, bright and then we can go to something like the deep sea which is kind of blue and you can go to settings here and you can see we shot a picture here with the device itself and you can just drag the different um, lights we have one through five you can actually check out the list of lamps right here and if I don't want the number three to be in the picture for example or to be controlled here by this picture I can just hit the number three but we want all of them right now number one is for example in the corner I think and you can see that we hold it in the picture if I go to, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's actually instantly changing colors. Um, gray is of course not an easy color, but the, you can see it's dark and then a little bit yellowish. Let me actually choose a different picture where it's a little bit easier. For example, the sunset, it's a lot of red. And now, as you can see, we have all in one place. It's and as you can see here, we have a group and you can just choose the number one to be right there. Number three will be on the table actually, so I can go also white for that. And then we have uh, all in the back, uh, right there on the bottom, it's all red. I don't know actually which one that is, but I think it's, no, well, four was behind me. And we have two in the corner and yeah, right there. So the number two is on the floor and you can see you can change the different color settings for each of them, but you can also join them if you put them on one spot and we, they will have the same color and you can set uh, for all of them also here the, the brightness or just for separate ones here can set them right on the bottom then here is the timer option as I was telling you about before so you can have an on and um, scene off at the different times instant off three minute fade for example fading is of course also interesting for waking up in the morning that's quite interesting and you can also choose a picture from your library or by Philips and what they have in their repository but you can also um, upload your own scene online shared with uh, the group and also and download from them in other, se uh, other scenes from your son or something and um, where they are maybe overseas but you can uh, share different scenes with them pictures and of course lightning mood so this was the way to set different moods and now here on the bottom one more thing you can of course control all your lamps separately we have a settings page where you can uh, find a new bridge um, log into the portal and also here give your oh, yeah, different hue lamps, different names, which is quite interesting. But actually, uh, uh, you can set up, of course, here, I think. Yeah, when, when you set up the name, it will blink, so you can see actually always which one you set up here. So, thank you much for watching on TV. This was the brand new Philips Hue, as you can see here in the background, with no uh, nothing around it, the bar, the next time, please, and I guess, thank you much for watching, and this was the Philips Hue.